Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tony and today we're going to go over the Rack Wireless Outdoor Enclosure setup for the Rack Hotspot Miners. Um, so I just received my package in. Surprisingly, this box is a little bit bigger than what I thought it would be. And also, it's pretty heavy. So let's go ahead, open it and show you guys what you're getting with this outdoor enclosure setup for the Rack Hotspot Miners. So we got some packaging material. Um, first off, you can see here, we got the pipe uh, clamps right here for mounting your enclosure to the like a pipe or some kind of round object or a pole but this is cast aluminum it's not plastic so it's actually very durable it's gonna last you many years out there in the environment um, but yeah also white powder coating it's not black so it's not gonna absorb a lot of heat especially when you're having these outdoor enclosures in the Sun All right. Next up, we got some more accessories. We got tape, we got electrical tape, and the self-sealing tape. And it's nice to see that Rack gives you this stuff so that way you don't have to go out and buy more stuff to uh, make your enclosure and set up fully weather or water seal, you know, from the environment. Because it is an outdoor setup. So next up here, we got a box. Let's see what we're getting with this box here. All right, we got the... POE splitter if you guys want to run POE setup uh, that's what I'm planning to do with my setup is running a POE is gonna make wiring a little bit easier um, you know one cable will power the hotspot and also provide the Ethernet uh, data so that's gonna be awesome uh, AC power cable to power the POE injector you can see this little box here and this little guy is actually pretty tiny. That's all there is to it, guys. You plug this in inside your house next to your router. Ethernet cable goes into uh, the LAN, and then this one goes to your machine. And there you go. You have power and uh, Ethernet data in one cable. So it just makes things a lot simpler and cleaner. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Box is empty. All right, so a couple things we got here. We got uh, some more aluminum. Uh, you know, clamps for the pole clamp. <laughs> All right, we've got some more brackets here that mounts to the back of the enclosure. It's aluminum or steel. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum, not steel. I think all of these accessories here is going to be cast aluminum. White powder coating. A little bit of imperfection here. I'm not sure you guys can see in the video, but it is what it is. You know. And we got some hardware, and these appear to be stainless steel. Uh, not that cheap, you know, st uh, steel bolts that will uh, rust over time. So it's nice to see good quality um, stainless steel hardware that comes with uh, any outdoor enclosure setup. All right, so next up, gonna open up this other box. All right. So this back here, we got the little covers, the, you know, the port covers and stuff like that. A zip tie um, yeah I think that's about it there oh all right so we got the Ethernet uh, jack this is the outdoor rated um, I also did order a Bobcat version of uh, the outdoor enclosure for from wireless uh, rack wireless and there's is you get this piece which is just a little rubber gasket but you don't get this cool uh, piece here I think this is very important for a lot of the miners with the Bobcat version, I felt like I was cheaped out of some of the materials, um, which I'll go over a little bit later on, but you can see on the Rack Hotspot version, um, this piece goes to the bottom of your outdoor, and then you put your Ethernet cable and it plugs in here, so that way you don't have to open up the case if you want to uh, access the Ethernet or anything like that. So big plus that the Rack Outdoor Hotspot has this piece right here. Uh, we got the N-Type adapter and connector here so your rack connects to here and then this goes to the other side of the enclosure so that way you can hook up your antenna directly if you want we got some more screws screws and some more screws i'm just going to put this back in here all right then we got a plate this is a heavy duty plate we're just going to rip this out All right, very nice. Actually, this feels more heavy duty than the 
bobcat version of this outdoor enclosure this is like a thicker um steel it's not aluminum i don't think i think this is actually steel stamped steel but it feels heavier um heavy duty and it's just going to help cool the system better in my opinion all right that's just trash and then let's get to the good stuff which you guys really want to see here right, let's see how i open this up i'm gonna put this aside and here is the outdoor enclosure for the rack hotspot very nice quality it's actually heavier than i thought it would be it feels heavier than the bobcat version and it's smaller so the top here is actually aluminum you can see here very nice i like the white powder coating instead of black or a piece of plastic the bobcat enclosure came with a plastic top cover or front cover this one is aluminum and plus with the white powder coating, it's gonna keep things a little bit cooler and not heat up. And also it acts like a heat sink to keep things a little bit cooler. And you can see you've got little ridges with the design. And I think that's also like a little heat sink just to help cool things down a little bit. And next up, you can see this is the fancy stuff. This is actually heavy duty. And you can see we got like a solid block of aluminum here that's been CNC'd. But once again, it's probably all cast and CNC down, but you can see very nice. I mean, look at all of this stuff, white powder coating, antenna, Wi-Fi. If you want to put, uh, you know, like a, uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot in here with the antenna, you can have your antenna set up out here. So many things that you can do with this. Very nice. I like this. This is actually quality. I think this is actually much better quality than the Bobcat version from Rack Wireless. Um, even these rubber gaskets here, look at this guys. This is like, this is nice. This feels heavy duty, this feels quality. Um, it's got a good feeling to it. We got the ground, if you wanna run GPS, um, which the rack for the Helium network, you don't need the GPS. So you're just gonna plug this in. And then the ethernet. So you can see here, wow, this is nice guys. All right, so let me uh, pause the video real quick, put everything all on this table and show you guys exactly what you guys are getting with this setup. All right, we're back guys. So you can see you got everything all laid out. You're getting a lot of good stuff with this outdoor enclosure and for the price, um, you can find more information in the description box below, but for the price of what you're paying for, this is good quality stuff. Now, obviously you can go out and you can buy um, cheaper, uh, junction boxes and electrical boxes from Amazon or eBay for like 16 bucks, 15 bucks, um, even $50, depending on which one you're getting. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, you're not going to get all of this quality um, with this setup. This is made specifically for the rack outdoor hotspot uh, or the rack hotspot to be outdoors. Um, good quality aluminum, good quality rubber gaskets. Um, there's a little bit of imperfections here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Just a little bit of cracking, kind of like unfinished, uh, you know, material here. But all of this stuff is actually not going to matter because none of the components will stick to here. Um, everything goes into this plate and then you put in here and it's all aluminum. The rack will fit directly onto the steel plate. So any heat is going to be transferred to this plate and any heat that builds up on this plate it's going to be transferred to this outdoor enclosure with this big old block. So when you put it in here, I mean, everything just transfers the heat and it just gets really good cooling from what I'm seeing here. Now, I haven't tested this out yet, so I can't really confirm exactly what I'm talking about. But just from when you have metal to metal contact and here, it just looks like a well built setup. And also the rack hotspot is going to bolt directly to here. So there's really little guesswork that you actually need to do you know it's all going to be direct plug and play it comes complete with the injector um splitter and everything tape all the hardware is all here and all you need basically is just your rack uh hotspot miner to attach to here also once you have this antenna adapter this end type uh connected to your enclosure you can actually mount your antenna directly to this case or this uh enclosure and not have to run an extension cable or anything like that. So very nice, very good quality kit. And I gotta say, I'm actually very impressed with this setup. Um, I also did receive a Bobcat. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it many times. 
and the quality of that enclosure is not the same as this. This is, I think, by far uh, better stuff. You're just getting better quality. Um, little things here and there, like this is actually not very expensive, but it's nice to see that this is included um, on the back, on the Bobcat version. You have to run your ethernet cable um, inside the case and you gotta put it in there. So if you need to unplug it for any reason, you gotta open up all of these screws. I believe there's like um, 12 or 16 screws, whatever that you have to unbolt so that way if you're working on anything like you can actually mount all of this to a, a, a pole and then come in the last step is plug in your ethernet and that's it with the bobcat enclosure you actually have to open everything up and then unplug the wire before you can move it anywhere that you want so it's a little bit tricky to work with this is by far i think a much better kit so hope you guys enjoyed this video it's getting a little bit too long i didn't plan on making this video this long um, I was only thinking about maybe a couple minutes, but it's almost 11 minutes now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it useful, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.